I'm your boy Idaho. I'm your boy Joe. And we about to bring you. All right, y'all. Here today in that Centennial Field, came to check out Juke. See what they all about. So I hope y'all enjoy episode six. This is what it's about. We in the field on this one, y'all. TV Idaho, bro. We here live in Dayton at the flag game, bro. We checking it out. We about to tune in and see what your boy Juke do. Y'all tap in. Let's get it. Fight me. Three. Coming in live and direct, my brother, man. That's good. <laughs> yes. Alright, y'all, this is your boy OTV Idaho. We're in Dayton at the Greater Dayton Flag Football League. Came to pick up some talent. We got Mario with us right now. We're gonna let him tell you a little bit about his story and how he transitioned from Ranger football to the Flag League, which is really taking over now. Now he's using all his knowledge and wisdom to get back down to the sun. We're playing two and we got two. First three months. Alright, so I played. Uh, Let's see, from 2014 to 2019, five years of semi-pro before that. I was with some arena teams and I started this flag team about 2015. And uh, me and my buddy Joe Young and uh, John McMullen started a team. Uh, had to play full contact. We don't do a non-contact stuff. So. Um, as far as the transition, uh, I say there's a lot more finesse. Um, it's just as physical, no pads. Uh, crack backs aren't legal, which they're not legal anyways in the NFL anymore. Uh, the transition really wasn't tough. I'd just say I had to cut down and uh, just add a little more finesse to my game. Uh, I had great parents, man, but uh, my dad wasn't really like a football guy. So, you know, as far as the football aspect of it, I uh, had to teach myself a lot of it just because he wasn't really that into football, but my uh, my son now, I'm trying to pass to him what I know and, you know, just get him ready. He just plays football, baseball, soccer, uh, starting basketball, working on it. Tell us a little bit about the team. Uh, our team has been around since 2015. Uh, we've gone to Worlds since 2016 every year. Uh, we've won Worlds once, we've won State twice. Uh, We've won regionals twice. Uh, we've won the league uh, every time except two times over the past five years. <laughs> uh, uh, as far as accolades, that's about all I can think of. I mean, we won a lot of tournaments. What about some of your key players? I mean, I know you got a lot of guys, but if you can say some of your key guys, three guys are out there that come, they don't even have to be the best guys. It could be whatever it is. The three guys that kind of make you guys on there. So, one most important position on the field is quarterback. John McMullen, he's our, he's our guy, no matter what. Um, he has the biggest impact. He can play all ten positions, five on offense, five on defense. Um, I would say he's our biggest impact guy. Uh, from the leadership aspect, it's got to be Joe Young. Um, he's a... Uh, just the leader overall. He's our middle linebacker, captain of the defense, captain of the whole team. You know, every time there's a tournament, he finds it. He gets the funds together and we throw in on it. And, you know, anytime that somebody's down or something, he's the first one to pick him up. You know, he's a, he's a great guy, great teammate. Uh, he walked on at University of Oklahoma. 
Oh, yeah. um, play back it for a little while. Uh, ran into a little bit of baby mama drama and uh, some injuries kind of stopped him. But there's no doubt in my mind that he could have went pro and you know everything fell in the right place. He was a great player, a great leader. DJ, DJ, uh, absolutely, Devontae Johnson, uh, he's right here, uh, DJ, come here, go, come here, uh, this is our human joystick right here, he can dip, he can catch, he can pitch, he can throw, he's fast, not as fast as me, but, you know, slightly fast, just want to be great, so, uh, so, yeah. you, how, how did you, how did you transition from, the everyday regular football to black football. Because I mean, I, some say you're 10 times better at playing than regular football. And honestly, I agree, true? With, I agree with that. That's, that's, true. A, that's a tough one. That's this hard. Can't, I this can't say, be going off from do, 150 to 200 for the Blaze. He's a running back. So. Yeah, it's hard to do. Uh, it's a, that's a tough call for me because I played against him. He's I would player. say I think it's more easier for me to go off and flag than actually football because one thing I don't have all that heavy equipment I have to carry on and now I'm just full of butter off the team. I'm not hurt basically socks. So I I've been just hit so personally I have more fun in flag than actual equipment. You can't hide bro, you can't hide in flag. You can hide letting people feel the real football, you can hide. Yeah. Five people are here. Yeah. I'm gonna see him soon later. Yeah. 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 What would you tell the next generation of young kids who got up flags and become instead of like instead of like doing new stuff, they're taking up flag on their free time to be able to clean their skills. I would say take a flag before you put on the equipment because honestly, if you take a flag, you actually learn the fundamental of the game instead of going out there and getting hits. Personally, I was getting CTEs. and games are simpler to you. You're not overthinking doing too much. Like, I love the game of flag. I would just try this over any other sport right now because it's the most hard sport. Really the atmosphere in tournaments is amazing. He says you're, you're, you're the human joystick. You're the human joystick for their jeans. My name's Sweet. I got the name Sweet. Well, honestly, these guys around me make me who I am. So, what you guys are going What you guys are going for this year? I know you got a fortune. You guys have a tournament on. Well, you're going to get the same answer out of all 12 of us. So, let me have a quick year for January. January is Worlds and Nationals. That's what matters. If you ain't the best in the world, then you're going to keep your goal this year. That's what it is. This is all the good of that. This is just one more practice. This is what you do. Run through stuff. Get the chemistry and good. Perfect our system that we've been doing over the years. When Worlds hit, that's when it happens. You get tested against the best of the best. Okay. Okay. You're going to see, see the best 16 out there. The best 16 teams in the world. They'll be there. And they're just as good as you, just as fast as you. They got the same players you do. You just got to outplay them. Tell them the team name and how to be able to check y'all out. Um, Show me your touchdowns. Um, you to check us out, uh, we're yeah, we got a Facebook. Uh, we so many football team. Yeah, uh, we're out here every week. Uh, I don't know what this field is called. It's a new location. The league is Get a flag football league. Do the NFL. Facebook rules. Everything. If there's a big tournament, you'll see us there. Oh, hey, sorry, guys, stay tuned because we got to be at all the flag everything this summer. It's becoming the hottest thing on the scene, and you know we got to make sure we check out the human joystick, and we got to check out one of the best teams around. So make sure y'all stay tuned. It's off the bench. It's your boy OTB Idaho. <laughs> Quick little, little put together like you said, and like uh, like this is my first like, year 
playing with these guys. Like the way we've been playing, like we've been gelling so much. Like the chemistry has been up there and so like it's been a like it's been I'm honored on my part, you know, because they they've been doing this for years and just for me to like fit in with them and be able to adjust quickly and stuff like that, like it's a big honor for me to play with them and like you said it's it's family time so we all brothers at the end of the day. So I mean it's crazy because that time they were of course, one of my like mentors taught me so much of the game. Like, you know what I'm saying? Hey, yo, come um, and what does he bring? Yo, I need a rest. To the back, I need a rest. Hey. Um, I was a he do, but I would think CJ probably had more of an influence because. I just met him, you know, these the first couple of years, but like, I, like just for me seeing him, like these first couple of years, he played, he played like a coach, you know what I mean? Like, he's still a coach, you know what I mean? He got that coach mentality, but he's still a good player. He's like a real coach. Like, he's a coach of the audience. So once, like, Sean turned the switch, yeah. That's what it's all. Like, you know, from player survival, I'm like, 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 I'm it's an honor to have him because he's like, I think he's our one oldest veteran ever seen besides him. So he's like, he's like a coach for him. Okay. And then, what are you guys go for? I mean, I hear everybody talking about Wolves. You know I'm new to the flag team, but you keep coming to the biggest team on the team right now. So, what is Wolves in the Japanese flag? Wolves is, it happens every January. So it's all over the world. We always in either Tampa or Orlando. And it's like the biggest day of the world. So our goal is to make the world and play the world. But right now our goal is to get like a tournament win. We want to get like a tournament win or a league win over our belts before we go to national. Before national, we got states. States is in August and November. So that'll be like our tournament. And then we'll have a town hall for the Mark Luther Weekend, Mark Luther King Weekend is September. So that's that's the goal to go with. Okay, and then with that weekend also being yeah. one of the biggest national championship weekends for semi pro, is that a goal of both of you guys to potentially have? I didn't, this would be my third time on the flag and doing semi pro. So, have you ever conquered both? Yeah. You know what? You got a world. I got a world and a, a ring. So, what's next? I know you're you're aiming to get that. Yeah, yeah. I ain't never I ain't never been you're okay. You're aiming to get that. So, so my goal is to get there. You know? I mean, take it one step at a time. But if I could do both, you know, I mean, that'd be that'd be great. You know what I mean? But you know, at the end of the day, it's all be one step in. And, you know, we'll send my pro. But when it comes to play, you know, that's our goal. So, what would you tell this younger generation that's diving into the flag to use it as a way to perfect the craft? Uh, like you said, use it to perfect your craft. Like, there's so, there's so many, like, there's so many avenues when it comes to flag that no one, that no one really talks about. Like just trying to you know work on your skill set and use that to transition over to trying to put pads on. You know what I mean, I would say to me, I would say start flag first before you put the pads on. You know what I mean, see if you really, really about that life and if you really want to play that sport and then transition over to pads. But honestly, for me out here, this where this where boys turn to man for real because it's, you ain't got no pads on, so you gotta you gotta use your body to get where you need to go and it still hit you. What about what about the quarterback? Like, do you think as a young quarterback that was playing flag at home? Yeah. Only the only reason I say that is because as a quarterback, you're taught to use your hips. And flag, you have to use your hips. If you come as much on the play a flag, you gotta turn your hips. So it's, it's it it takes from here and it can improve your quarterback and base stands, your hip movement, your power off your throw. Like so, it it will help this. But yeah, I would I would say for young generation, I would start off a flag. Just because, like you said, it it it, it gets a fast, especially the quarterback. So here on you guys' team, you guys have what? Maybe five, six guys who play semi-pro. 
So the guy you guys playing on this is like semi pro two. You just use your brother bomb to come together and protect them more than protect them. Because if those rivalries still go on, you guys back to the other side of the game, you guys still have like a little rivalry there. When it comes to play, it's just a different fight. But once, once that final game of flag hit, say like we played y'all in the season, after that game of flag, I don't like that one. That's just the value of what we're in this flag world. Oh, we ain't no that, that stuff is sad. Yeah. This is this is this is our journey right here. So we about to we about to get this together. And then after that, then we'll do then we'll do some other things. Right? When it comes to the flag world, we got flag chasing. All right, right. I gotta ask y'all the tough question that I'm asking every team. Who's the human joystick? Every team got one. Our human joystick? Who's the human joystick? <laughs> this guy right here. I don't want him a lot of y'all. <laughs> he was the human joystick. Guy. I, he playing. He plays the hardest position, position in flag, and that's quarterback. Without him, we would not be successful. So don't let him tell y'all I'm the human joystick. He's the human joystick because okay. he's able to dodge and throw the ball at the same time. So don't let him tell y'all that. So he is. Give us the team name. How to check y'all out? Um, if there's any, if y'all got any social media, anything that we can follow, or how. People can watch you guys play, where they can come, how they can check you out. <coughs> um, the name is Big Family Ties. Uh, we play up in Dayton, like, I think every two weeks. So I don't think we're back here next week, but we're here the week after that. And then we get a bad weekend and we're here the week after that. We also got five men um, on Sunday at Wyoming. Wyoming we also, Park. Right, we got our, uh, we also got our eight men today. Wyoming Park. Wyoming Park. Wyoming Park. So, we, we're like... No. Yeah, the flag, flag is taking over. Flag is taking over. This flag is taking over. Um, I don't think we got a site up yet. I think they're working on one. But well, we'll, we'll definitely keep y'all posted. We'll definitely keep y'all posted on the next game and tournaments and all the other to. All right, y'all. Make sure y'all stay tapped into the flag team. Make sure y'all stay, stay, stay tapped in to these two because they're going to obviously put on some game moves. Um, this is OTB Idaho. You never know. Might see me out here one day, bro. Pick up y'all flag, y'all. We'll come up. Off the bench, last play.
Legend. Ulti do Yachty Ho out here too. We Episode lost. 6. Y'all tune in, subscribe, all that. Follow our social media pages.